guys, what's up? It's the Chinchilla Notebook here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a video on, I think, 15 facts on chinchillas. 16 facts about chinchillas. So I basically just decided to put this video together because I was running out of ideas, and I was just wondering if you guys could leave some video, video ideas that I've not filmed in the comments below. That would help me out majorly. Lately, I've just been going through this phase where I just can't think of any videos to really put out there, so... Just leave me some ideas, but for now, I'm going to be talking about some f cool facts about chinchillas. Some of you guys might know, some of you guys might not. I did research into this, and I actually learned some stuff. It was kind of cool, so if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about your chinchilla, or if you want to get chinchillas, then just continue watching. Fact number one is that they are crepuscular, which means they are most active at dawn and dusk, or they can be nocturnal too, which means that they're awake at night more often than the daytime. Um, obviously, every chinchilla is, has a little bit of a different schedule. Merlin is really active at night and also in the evening at dusk, but in the dawn and in the daytime, he's pretty, you know, he's pretty tired. Right now, he's currently eating. Fact number two is that their teeth never stop growing. Like most rodents, they have, I think it's called... Um, open roots which means that their teeth just keep growing and growing and a chinchilla's teeth can actually grow up to 12 inches in one year which is why it's really important to give them lots of toys and stuff that they can keep their teeth trimmed and in good shape. Fact number three is that they have the softest fur in the world. They have 25 hair follicles, no 25 hairs in one follicle while humans have one hair in each follicle which is crazy to think about. So the fur is really dense and really soft and it is 30 times softer than human hair. So if you have somebody that you know who has really soft hair, their fur is 30 times softer than that. Fact number four is that chinchillas use their whiskers to kind of like see. Um, obviously their eyesight is not the best, so their whiskers can grow up to half the size of their body so that they can use it to feel around and like, you know, move around. And Merlin's are so cute, I don't really want to bother him. Their whiskers are very important. Most rodents use their whiskers to feel around and chinchillas definitely are one of them. A lot of rodents have really good eyesight, but chinchillas actually surprisingly don't have amazing eyesight. They just use their whiskers a lot more than other rodents. Number five is that they have a special defense mechanism to get away from predators, and it's called fur slipping. So chinchillas use the method of fur slipping, so when a predator grabs them or gets a hold of them, they can let actually let their fur go so that they can slip out because they got a lot of fur and their little bodies are underneath so they could lose a lot of their pelt just so that the predator lets go and that I think is really really cool that's why if your chinchilla is ever outside of their cage or you startle them or somebody tries to grab them and they lose fur it's them getting their fur slipping mechanism kicking in number six is that they're reproductively mature by two months of age isn't that crazy? I got Merlin when he was four months and he was so tiny, but they could technically have little babies of their own at two months of age. That's why it's important to wean them a little bit earlier and get them, you know, neutered to spade pretty soon if you don't want them to have any babies. Fact number seven is that they can live up to 10 to 15 years. The longest I've ever heard is 20 years long. Honestly, I think that's a little, those are very rare cases because, you know, they're really old by 15. But chinchillas are one of those rodents that live for a long, long time. So if you're going to get one, just make sure you can be prepared to take care of them for up to 15 years. Fact number eight is that chinchillas were named for the Chincha people of the Andes who hunted them. So they originate from the Chile and Andes Mountains in South America. And there were tribes there that hunted them for food and for their fur. And they were called the Chincha tribe. So that's why they're called chinchillas. They originate from um, those. Number nine is that there are two species of chinchillas. They, there is a short-tailed chinchilla, which is just called chinchilla chinchilla twice, and those have shorter tail ears, and they have a thicker neck and like a thicker shoulder. They look like chinchillas. They're just a little different. They're like the little stubby mini version. They are actually almost extinct, and they are not very common in the uh, domestication. And then there's a the long-tailed chinchilla, which is just what Merlin is. They're called chinchilla lan lanagera. Chinchilla lanagera. I don't know. But this is the kind that we have in domestication. And they are, you can still find them in the wild. It's just very rare. Chinchillas are an endangered species. Fact number 10 is that they can jump up to six feet high in one jump. Isn't that crazy? So, like, I've seen Merlin do some really crazy jumps, but when I heard six feet, I was so astounded. So, I looked up videos to see if it was true, and it is. Chinchillas can jump so, so high um, because they're built for agility and for being able to jump, but. Six feet high is literally as tall as my dad. That is so high in just one jump. 
Fact number 11 is that they need dust baths to groom their fur instead of water. They just bathe in dust or volcanic ash whenever their fur gets oily or it's just getting a little bit ungroomed. And in the wild, in domestication, we use blue cloud dust, which is a form of vol volcanic ash. Those don't bathe in water at all. They use dust, which is kind of opposite with in what you would think would get an animal clean. Fact number 12 is that they hear in almost the same range as humans, and so they're often kept as models for research involving the auditory system, which this one I thought was really cool. I did not know that they had the same, like, cochlear, I think it's like cochlear, cochlear range as humans do. I thought that was kind of cool that they use them to test auditory systems. Fact number 13 is that in the wild, it can get as cold as 20 degrees Fahrenheit for chinchillas, and they can handle it just fine. So obviously, just because they can handle that in the wild, domestic chinchillas shouldn't be kept in anything under 50 degrees in a home. Chinchillas can handle he uh, cold a lot better than they can handle heat. They cannot be above 80 degrees. Otherwise, they can get very, very overheated, and I recommend in your home to keep them at underneath 72 degrees. Fahrenheit. Fact number 14 is that females tend to be more aggressive than males. I don't know why this is, but even if they're spayed and even if they're not mothers, they still tend to be more aggressive than males. Fact number 15 is that in the wild, they are very social and can lose in, live in groups of about 100 other chinchillas. So basically, they just live in huge packs of 100, which is so cool to me. Like, just imagine seeing a bunch of chinchillas in the wild all together, just living together. And then the last fact, number 16, is that parasites suffocate in their dense fur. Like I said, they have really, really dense fur, and that's what makes it so soft, but because it's so dense, parasites typically suffocate in their fur. It's very rare that they can get fleas or ticks because they can't breathe in their fur because it's so thick. And then fact number 17 is that they're the cutest animal in the whole world. He really wants a treat, but they're the cutest things ever. I'm telling you, they're so cute. Look at that, Merlin. Hey. Okay, guys, so that is pretty much it for the video. Oh, oopsies. I hope you guys enjoyed it and, you know, found out a little bit more about chinchillas today. I definitely didn't know some of these facts, so they were pretty interesting to me. Thank you guys for watching, and I will definitely see you in the next video. And like I said, go ahead and leave me some video ideas and comments in the description box because I would love to see what you guys want me to film next. Today, never stay too long.